subscribe and click on the bell icon to never miss a video on India Food Network. Hi, this is Preeta and you're watching the Jashne Biryani series. Today we are going to be making a biryani using fish. Yes, I'm going to use surmai. First step is going to be soaking the rice. So here I have a bowl. So ensure that you take a good quality uh, basmati rice which has been aged minimum for say two years. So I'm going to use a good one cup of this. And just wash and soak the rice well for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to keep this aside for now. And in the meanwhile, we are going to marinate our fish. Let's clear, make some space. I have a bowl here. Over here I have some surmai, around 300 um, grams, which I've cut into say little less than half an inch pieces. I'm just going to place this. And for marination, I'm going to use a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of ginger garlic. I'm going to use a little bit of salt, not too much, and very little lime juice. Now I'm going to use my fingers to smear this nicely so that it is well coated. Each and every piece is well coated with this. We are going to keep this aside for around 15 to 20 minutes and go to the next step. So what is the next step? It's going to be making a paste and this paste has been made uh, using some cinnamon, around three cinnamons, three to four cloves, a couple of cardamoms. I've also used a teaspoon of fennel in this which is going to give a really nice flavor and some poppy seeds and half a cup of coconut has gone in this. I love the flavor of copra, that's why I'm using this and chilies. So soak all this and once it's well soaked, we are going to grind it into a paste and this is how it is going to look nice and thick. This is what is going to give a nice flavor to your biryani. So let's not waste time, let's start. I have a kadhai here. First, in this I'm going to add coconut oil. Along with this, I'm going to add very little. Any vegetable oil um, of your choice you can add. So now that our oil is heating up, let's start adding the ingredients one by one. First goes in some onions. Along with that, I'm also going to add my favorite ingredient, curry leaves. Some ginger. I want a fresh, really fresh flavor, so I'm adding it chopped. Ginger and garlic. If you want, you can also add paste. And then we are going to saute this. Now we have to cook this till the onions start getting nice and soft. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this. Now at this stage, I am going to add tomato puree. Now this is fresh tomato puree. So once we add the tomato puree, we are going to sear this nicely till it starts to ooze out oil. I am going to add the paste that we had made, the entire lot. And then we are going to cook this. Again, for around three to four minutes, I'm getting an amazing aroma of uh, the whole spices. And now the marinated fish uh, goes in. So I'm just going to place this one by one. And if there's any marination remaining, you can add that too, not a problem. So just add that. And now what we are going to do is, we are just going to coat this with the masala. We are going to cook each side for around two minutes on an open flame. So this has been cooking for around a minute and a half, two minutes actually. I'm just going to gently turn each and every piece. And it's time to take it out. We're going to add it back to the rice later. So let's just gently remove these pieces. That's it. So I'm going to keep this here and in this we are going to add the rice and we are going to sear this on a high flame for one minute. So to ensure that the rice grains are evenly coated with the masala. Now for one cup of rice we are adding two cups of hot water. And I'm going to cook this till the rice is almost cooked. 
So the rice has been cooking for around 5 to 7 minutes. I'm going to reduce the flame now. And as you can see, there's still a lot of moisture in this. And now I'm going to place this on top and allow the rice to get uh, completely cooked along with the fish. But ensure that now you do this on a really low flame. I'm also going to add a little bit of coriander. And all we need to do is allow it to cover and cook on a really low flame now. It really smells good. Enjoy making this recipe. If you have loved watching the video, do click on the like, share and subscribe button.